Hi everyone, it's Dr. M and I am at Oberlin College in Oberlin, Ohio. I'm standing in front of the Finney Chapel. It's one of the larger recital halls here on campus. There are many different kinds, some larger, some smaller. It's incredible facilities here. Um, just want to give you a sense of things. I'm right by Tappan Square. So you can see a whole bunch of historic buildings, administrative buildings. Um, across the street is the art museum. Here's Tappan Square. You can see that. I'll try to move away so you can get more of a sense of Oberlin. Um, diagonally across is the admissions building um, and also the Oberlin Hotel, or I believe it's called the Hotel at Oberlin. They have their own hotel. Oberlin is a small liberal arts college in Ohio. It is known for its conservatory, it has one of the oldest and most prestigious conservatories. It's also extremely strong in the sciences. Um, and the word that keeps coming up when it comes to Oberlin is magical. I had two tours and two info sessions, one at the conservatory, one at arts and sciences, and each student separately used the term magical. So um, let's see what I can do to give you a sense of the magic at Oberlin. I'm not sure I did justice to just the beautiful buildings around this square. So I just wanted to take a little bit more video and like right here behind me, right, is Finney Chapel. Here is the administration building. Here is Frederick Hall. Just, it's just so beautiful. It's hard not to keep giving you some more footage so I hope that's helpful. Hi everyone I'm now across the street and I am in Tappan Square and as you can see there is a painted rock behind me and that's one of the features of Oberlin is that there are rocks around Tappan Square that students routinely paint with all sorts of different messages so um, students really like to take ownership of their space they like to express themselves at Oberlin one of my tour guides said, if you want to try something, the opportunity is there. Oberlin is close to Cleveland and students do go into Cleveland and there actually are cool things in Cleveland. I have been to Cleveland. There's tons of peer support. There is a very, very low student faculty ratio, 11 to one in the arts and sciences, six to one in the conservatory. If you want to do research, just like that. That's exactly what my tour guide did. Just like that. I love that. Another one of my tour guides was a computer science and psychology major. She's a sophomore and this year she will be working in the IT department at Goodyear. So there are also lots of different opportunities for computer science majors here. Like many um, elite prestigious liberal arts colleges, Oberlin, students, uh, are known to get Fulbrights, Trumans, um, and other very prestigious national fellowships. And that's really one way to start to distinguish yourself for you know, that, that next journey after college. Students who have graduated from Oberlin, they've gotten jobs at Spotify, PBS, Twitter, Facebook, the UN, Comedy Central. So even if you decide you don't want to go to grad school or to professional school, um, there are lots of opportunities to get excellent jobs as, as an OB. Some statistics for you. 97% of law school applicants got into law schools in the past five years. 92% of grad applicants get into at least two schools and 81% were accepted into their top choice grad school. 20% of Oberlin students get PhDs, so Oberlin, uh, as I've been telling students and families for years, is known for um, sending students to just the most excellent grad programs uh, in the country and in the world. The Oberlin mascot is called the Yovi, 
and I will spell that for you. Y-E-O-B-I-E, -E, the Yobi. And guess what the Yobi is? Because it's Oberlin. The Yobi is a non-binary albino squirrel. Go Obies, go Yobies. Magical. I'm just not done with Oberlin, and now I actually need to get out of the way so you can see this absolutely gorgeous structure. This is part of the conservatory. It's a newer part, and it houses, among other things, the, the jazz department. This building right there, that's the main part of the conservatory, and it's also an incredible building, and it was built such that every studio, every practice room, every office has windows so that you can get a sense of the progression of the day. As Oberlin students, I'm gonna get this whole thing in, they love to express themselves. So uh, I really just, <laughs> I felt I could not leave Oberlin without getting a shot of this magnificent mural. And I think it just really just speaks to what Oberlin is about and what my day felt like. And the word of the day is magical.